So today I will make you know in the easiest way how to draw brachial plexus. So you can see I am writing there a brachial plexus. So in an easy way, as you all know that there are root from C5 to T1. So I am just writing all. There is a C5 to T1. I will just write there one by one. I will line up, I can say. So as you know, I have drawn. So what is this is the family member. There is a five family member and the head of the family member is the C7 who has established, who has accomplished his dream. So I will just make you know what the two upper one is the young, yeah, elder one, sorry. And the two lower one is the younger one. As you see how I am writing. Okay. Yeah. Now, the point is the C7 has accomplished everything in his life. Therefore, I have drawn there. To foot as like that he's accomplished everything now what about the younger and the elder one they both work together to accomplish their life their dream sorry so what they work together in the life so once the head needs the help from elder as well as younger he just wanted to know who will help but he found that a helping hand from elder and a helping hand from the younger to come. He was too happy. Again, in certain period of time, the elder one need the help. He seek help from the head of the department. Sorry, head of the family. Obviously, what the parent will never deny. He helped him. And what? They were happy and they again lagge to accomplish their dream they went together went together went together and finally they found that they have accomplished therefore yes they stopped but they thought why to not rejoin together to make us more powerful therefore they rejoined together and yeah they found another helping hand for them they became more stronger Yes, this is the complete breaker plexus. Now, what about the branches, cords, and many things more? So, you can see I'm drawing a line which is just to differentiate. This is the root. Now, another line. This is the trunk. hope you get understanding it and another one where there was a helping hand for each other is the division another note down that it does not involve the foot of the parent but that accept it everything is the code Excluding the foot is the coat and all that point you see is the branches the accomplished fruits and the stop of the accomplishing of the tree is the branches now how to learn this root trunk division coat and branches as you've seen this this is the line is also okay so how to learn there is a trick as you all know it is a mnemonic Ramu's Taylor drink cold beer so from Ramu's R is the root Taylor T is the trunk drink D is the division cold C is the coat and bear the B is the branches okay now what about the trunk as you all know trunk is divided into three so yeah we are going to enumerate them too so here is the upper branch upper trunk not branch upper trunk C5, C6 involve upper trunk. C7 is the medial trunk. C8 and T1 is the lower trunk. Okay. So done with it. Now what about the cord? So C8, T1 is the medial cord which goes medially. Okay. Medial aspect of the arm. C7 is the posterior cord. Okay. 
finally c5 c5 and c6 is the lateral code so done with it this is the brachial plexus now a trick simple trick up c7 foot is one is the radial and one is the axillary that is the first five branches no so two done the radial and axillary now c8 and t1 goes to the ulna to so, ulna no c5 c6 is the musculocutaneous nerve four of the branches done and finally fifth one is the c7 medial nerve median yeah medial nerve done with it now another is the branches again we have to integrate the branches too just learn three trees the c ulnar nerve also have a three branches i will let you know what are the three branches the posterior too have the three branches yeah this is done but the lateral have only one branch that also included some other branches that's why i'm trying one in the coat and another one above the coat and one more i forget that is just in the upper to the lateral coat in the division only one more uh,